Good morning. On this week's episode of Haste and Helping Hands, I want to talk to you about mom guilt and being there and how you can stamp out mom guilt. So my own mother says F guilt, but I do my very best to keep it clean. So I'm going to continue that trend and say screw guilt. Um, really guilt in any form because the only person that ever makes you feel better is you. If you think about that, that when you say, oh, I feel so guilty about something, you've said something, you've done nothing, and you still feel guilty. So I don't think that it's at all empowering. I don't think that it helps anything. So I think we should all give it up. I also say mom guilt because I don't think that guilt hits, hits men in the same way that it does women, um, especially when it comes to this mom guilt thing. So my very dear friend, she loves her child and she loves her work equally. And I think it's important to talk about that. It's an and conversation, not but. I love my work, but I love my child. Um, if you choose to stay home, awesome. If you choose to go back to work, awesome. I think that it's really important to understand we have choices. She was walking around her new nanny and she said, you know, I really wish that I could stay home with him and I can't because I make too much money. So this is what we have to do. And the truth is, she told me later that she felt compelled to say that because she was justifying her choice to not stay at home. And I thought about that and was like, yeah, that's a perfect example of mom guilt. Another example is last week I finished my broadcast like I'm doing now. And I realized that um, we were on our way to school with my daughter and we got to school. And as we walked up, there were posters everywhere. They're doing Water Wednesday because it's 200 degrees in Texas. And so trying to keep the kids cool. So they're doing Water Wednesdays every Wednesday now. And um, they had just started it. And I forgot. I forgot her stuff. And I was immediately set with so much guilt. It was just like, oh, God, I'm a horrible mom. None of that is true. No one said that. And um, so, but then I realized that the best antidote for mom guilt is refuting with truth. Um, so no, I'm not a horrible mom. I got her up that day. I, she got dressed. Uh, we brushed her teeth. We washed her hair. Uh, we got her ready for school. We got to school. The only thing I did is I forgot one item that we needed, which is her swimsuit. And so I did two things. One, I said to myself, you're a great mom. There's a lot of reasons that I can point to, but this is not about me. This is about getting rid of mom guilt. And the thing I did then is I also used our technology to set a reminder for every Wednesday so I don't forget that this happens. And I also thought, you know, this is the first week that they're doing this. I heard about it once last week in the middle of a million other things that I'm doing as her mom. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. And sometimes I think that it's really easy to get bogged down in mom guilt. And I don't think that we should anymore. I think that when you feel that or you hear one of your parent friends talking about how guilty they feel, encourage them to refute that horrible feeling and mostly untrue feeling with truth. Like maybe say, yeah, I hear you. God, that sucks. Um, maybe can you tell me about three times you were a great mom last week? Or even yesterday, what did you do yesterday that made you a great mom? And encourage them to tell you a story about why what they've said before isn't actually true and let them feel that for themselves. So I could talk a lot about this. The biggest thing is that trying to get rid of the mom guilt means that you take more time for yourself. And the other thing that hit me in the middle of working on this is that nobody is keeping score but you. You're the only one who feels that way. I promise you, anyone looking at you is not looking at you and judging you the way that you're judging yourself. So nobody is keeping score but you. So how about you stop? How about you stop and think about all the times that you've been there? Uh, for instance, I play on the floor with my kid most of the time when she asks um, because I know that no one played on the floor with me as a kid. And so it's something that I've committed myself to doing. Now, I love it most of the time. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to connect. She tells all these great stories that I would totally miss out on if I wasn't paying attention. And there are definitely times when I don't feel it. I am not feeling it. So I will tell her, I will say, okay, so um, right now mom's gonna take some me time because I'm trying to teach her about me time while I'm also teaching her about being there. Um, and then when the timer goes off, I'm gonna spend time with you, we're gonna to play together. And she says, okay. And she goes happily back to playing. And um, you know, it's a great system because we both get something that we need. I get me time, she gets mom time. 
you know, and um, okay. it may work now and it may not work another day. Right now it works. So it's a way that I'm stamping out mom guilt. And I encourage you to do the same. So if you're talking to a parent and they're saying something about, oh gosh, you know, I did this thing and it's, I, I don't want you to stop them from saying that. I want you to hear them out. I want you to hear what they have to say. And then a little bit later, circle around and go, gosh, you know, I heard you tell that story about forgetting uh, the swimsuit for Vivian's water day, but um, can you tell me about two other times that you were a great mom last week? And I think they'll surprise you with their own realization and also something that you can do to help them is to lift them up and to remind them of all the things that they do well. So this is my post. Um, my name is Jen Haston and this has been Haston Helping Hands. If you find this helpful, please go ahead and subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and then like and share with somebody who maybe is experiencing some mom guilt. Um, thank you again for listening. I appreciate you tuning in and every week on Wednesday, I do a message. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is Haston Helping Hands and I'm Jen Haston.